Hi there, in this video we're going to look at controlling motors using the crumble board. Now in the original introduction video we looked at how you can control a range of different motors, um, everything from the motors you might find in your science cupboard at school to the Redfern motors which they sell on the website which come with pre-made crocodile clip wires. So for this demo we're just going to use one of the Redfern ones because they've got all the wires on and we'll look at how we might go at uh, controlling one. So on the crumble board you can control up to two motors got number one and two down the bottom and you've got the positive and negative terminals the red wire of the motor goes onto the positive terminal and the black wire of the motor goes on to the negative terminal there we go now because motors are very power hungry you're also going to need an additional power source which can either be a usb power bank or it can be one of the uh, battery packs you can also get off the webfam website so for that you're going to need to have a couple of additional wires You've got two negative terminals, so one will go onto the negative. And at the top of the crumble board, you've got two additional power inputs here. So you've got one on this side and one on that side. And these can either be for power coming in or they can be powering something else. In this case, uh, the motors actually draw their power straight from the board. So we just need to connect the battery pack to the crumble board. So negative to negative and positive to positive. And it doesn't matter, you could put the positive on this side. For neatness, I always like to pair them up like that. Now, we're powered up. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is we're just going to need to start controlling it. So, plug in our USB cable. Let's swap across to the IDE on the computer. And let's have a look at the different uh, blocks we can use. So here we are. Um, in the Crumble IDE, you've got one block only for motors, and that's this one here. And it's got three things we can change. You can change to motors one and motor two by clicking on it. You can make the motor go forward, reverse or stop, and then back around again, forward, reverse, stop. And lastly, you can change the power you give the motors. It starts at 75% of total power, uh, which is a good balance between speed and power consumption. Motors are greedy little things. So 75% is good, or you can go all the way up to 100, anywhere between zero and 100 um, as it's a percentage. So we'll do a simple program. Um, let's start off with the starts. We'll make the motor go forward to 75%. We'll put a weight in there for a second. We'll put a motor one in there again. Uh, this time we'll make it reverse for a second. And then we'll put a block in, which is going to make it stop. So it should go forward for a second, reverse for a second, and then stop. And we'll quickly double check by looking at the crumb boards. Yep. We are using motor number one, that's really important. So uh, we're plugged in, let's program. Um, and if you see the, the LED there, if I press program again, it'll go on for a second, reverse for a second and off. Now to make it so we can see this, we can always put this in a do forever loop. So we'll put that in there, we'll drag our code in. And then now we press play, it'll go forwards, reverse, stop although we will need to add an extra delay in there because it's a loop, forward, reverse, stop, and it will keep on doing that forever. And you notice nothing's happening at the moment, but that's because we haven't given it power. So if we turn the power on, and hold up, there we go. So, forward, reverse, press play, and stop. Forward, reverse, stop. Forward, reverse, and stop. And we can either press stop on the program, or you can just turn off the power here at any point. Now, the nice thing about this is, because the crumble remembers the program, is you could just unplug the USB cable and then use the battery pack just to control when it turns on. So it'll always start the program from the beginning, forwards, reverse, and stop. And we can just turn off our battery pack when we're done with it. And it's as simple as that. So you don't just have to use the Redfern um, geared motors. You could always use uh, one of these motors, which you can attach to a pulley, so you can control a little uh, car using some simple uh, wheels and axles, or you've got a propeller blade. This is the, a similar motor. Um, these go really quickly once they're at 100%, so that can be quite fun uh, for making fan-powered cars or boats. Um, and lastly, you've got these motors, which are the same as these ones. Um, they just don't have anything on the spindles. Um, but really, you can do use any motor that controls up to four and a half volts. So you've got lots of options there. So that's a quick crash course in controlling motors using the Crumble. Um, if you enjoyed the video, then please do like, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to put out more Crumble videos, so any questions or suggestions about what you'd like to see would be great. 
and uh, do feel free to share with other people and teachers feel free to use in schools. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.